Looking for Paradise The Iberian lynx, one of the most threatened animal species on the face of the earth. This impressive feline is a specialist predator, which as it evolved, adapted to take advantage of a food source that was very abundant in the Mediterranean scrubland. In recent times, the populations of Iberian rabbits have been decimated in the lynx's habitats which has aggravated the feline situation. The loss of its main food source, together with the loss of habitat and the proliferation of human activities, has left the lynx in a critical situation. Today, the lynx is found only in the Sierra Morena mountain range and in Doñana National Park. Their populations are fragmented over a large geographical area full of obstacles and dangers. The isolation and scarcity of specimens can cause an increase in inbreeding and put the survival of the species even more at risk. This situation makes the need to intervene urgent. It may be necessary to move some of the animals, not only among the existing populations, but also to new territories that meet their needs. To that end, lynxes are also being raised in captivity. Great efforts and investments are being made to raise cubs that can be freed in areas with an appropriate habitat and enough rabbits to guarantee their survival. These actions are only valid as emergency solutions, but we need to know how we can encourage natural movements, the connections among the populations, and their expansion into new areas. The team of Dr. Eloy Revilla is studying the movements of the lynxes and their behavior when they spread out over a territory. It's a question of seeing the landscape with the lynx's eyes, of interpreting their needs and requirements. To do that, for more than 20 years, the researchers have followed 30 lynxes marked with tracking collars that have spread over the territory. Their movements, recorded with this procedure, can be interpreted in relation to the characteristics of the terrain, and models can be drawn up to help us understand the patterns of their movements. In these years of study, the researchers have obtained surprising results. Although lynxes normally don't stray from their little fragmented populations, when an animal was released far from its habitual area, it returned to its place of origin, crossing highways, freeways, and even railways with security fences. Long journeys represent big risks, and the animals aren't normally willing to run those risks. Although lynxes are able to overcome big obstacles if they have to, in practice, the populations will only make contact if there are corridors with the right kinds of habitats and ecological conditions. Thanks to the models they have developed, the researchers have been able to see that the type of habitat is decisive for the lynx to spread, and that this doesn't happen merely according to the distance, as was hypothesized up to now. Just as with humans and many other species, young lynxes take greater risks than the adults, venturing into open areas, especially at night, although there can be no doubt that their preferred habitat is Mediterranean scrubland. The success of their adventure to eventually establish themselves in new territories depends on the habitat they must cross, but also on a multitude of unpredictable factors. In fact, it is a stage in their lives when many are killed in accidents. There is much we have yet to learn about the Iberian lynx. Its behavior is truly fascinating, but what's more, 
It's the key to continuing the work to manage to save it from extinction. <laughs>